We go again. Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, you nailed that bastard. All right, go ahead. She's waiting for you, right upstairs, okay? Bouncy, bouncy. All right. Tony, Tony, Tony. Hope you had a good time up there, huh? Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Bit skinny, but not, not bad. Where you know her from? You, uh, you ain't the pimp type. Pimp? No, she's my wife. She's my wife. I left my first wife and kids for her. Best decision I ever made. Oh, fantastic. I mean, she's been the making of me. Whatever gets you off, man. Listen, um, if, if you're up for it, do you remember that house on Eclipse where I was standing? Oh, by the way, there's a can of gas in my car that you can take, okay? Gasoline, check. <sighs> Just when I thought this situation couldn't get any more messed up. If I'd known she was his wife, I would... Nah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? But listen, there's a gas grill out by the pool. Now you light that up, and I'll be able to see the fireworks from here. Now you do this for me, and you will see just how grateful Miss. How can it be wrong when it feels so right? Okay, time to light the grill. All for you, Mrs. Bernstein. Nice place, but give me the Billingsgate Motel any day. You know, Trevor, you could just go to a prostitute. to attract attention I should probably get out of here Josh Bernstein Realty I hear that property on Eclipse is
gangsters move. He waiting at the garage. The boost, homie. How did it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains in the... Man, this motherfucker meant to be mad. My car, you damn moron. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No Lining up on the carrier, huh? That's teamwork, motherfuckers. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Let's get the truck. Paletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get coming. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He like retired from from creeping. From everything. That's funny, cause like the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There were no party. No party? I used the term retirement. Euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know... He wasn't the good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that! And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who... Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. Mm -hmm. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do. <laughs> making do. I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. 
It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. No part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbang. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobo, uh, maybe tired with hobo. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real safe. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world... Oh, shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving... I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of him. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, take this headset. That's right to us, dawg. Taking a rise to the truck stop at Procopio. Roger that. I'm gonna speak to the legal councilwoman. Get us paid. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? 
In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together. We are free. We're bringing an end to the patriarchy. We are women. Hear our pain. We are women. Hear our shout. We are women. We have no doubt. We are women. We are free. We are Shut women. the we are fuck free. up. Thank you. Oh, my N word, huh? What <laughs> What's up, up homie? Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a, is that how you act, huh, when a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Really? Oh, no. What, oh, so what, it's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Well, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up, motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... Let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha. Huh? Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny. I'm a fucking asshole. Oh, fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know. Look, I love you, right? But I would have. I would have just look, look, fucking look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael, fuck Michael. I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all yeah. too, man. Come on, man. You too happy. Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work. I told you, he ain't my Gila. Don't try to persuade me you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor uh. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good uh. men. Good day, huh? Good day, good... You idiot! I'll help you get Philip! Miss somewhere. How you get in? Hey! 
Chinese guys show up out of nowhere. Then he runs, and the next thing I know, I'm back in Los Santos on a fucking meter. Where you off the hook now? Yeah, thanks to you. Say, how'd you find me anyway? 
Did my family look for me? Nah, bro. I think... I think they still away. Me and Lester thought something was up. Then I spoke to Trevor and he said the Chinese had you. Trevor told you? She had not willingly, but you... Yeah, he told me. No fucking thing. Man, he's angry at your ass. Way more than the normal middle-aged shit that y'all do. Yeah, well, if he wants to have it out, Franklin, I got news for you. He knows where to fucking find me. I saved your ass so you could kill one another? I thought we was in business together, the Union Depository. Yeah, that might have to wait, but you're all right, though. You got that car thing in the meantime. Actually, I don't got the car thing. We got the last ride, and Devin Weston stung us on the fucking pay. He putting it in an investment fund. Really? Yeah, really. What we gonna fucking do? Hey, look. An investment fund probably ain't the worst idea. I got this other thing with Weston down at the film studio. We wait to see how that plays out. And then we talk to him about your pain. Man, it sounds like I'm getting fucking screwed. We'll deal with it, Franklin. Jesus, I still feel like I'm hanging upside down from my ankles. Let me just adjust for a while. All right, then, I'll see ya. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty-ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right, well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said... Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Uh, man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right, look. I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <clears throat> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man. Look, you watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. 
Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off. Take us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. Hello? So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. Their particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Here we are. Let's wait for him. This it? This is not the car we're looking for. So what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. What's this? Uh, not our guy. So what do we do? Uh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Something's coming. Nope. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Here we go. That's not it. There she is. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now, let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. He's taking the next left. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate.
We're trying to blend in back here, Michael. I appreciate the advice. He's making a left, up there. Whatever, man. He's pulling up, parked down the block. I've never heard of you. Why do you keep calling me? Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Call me when she needs something. You got another one of those, Harvey? Well, who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. You fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Uh, hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Bay, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that'll fuck with a lot. He's making such a fuss. He's... Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbyes. Oh, my God, don't work. you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please no. I, I, I have money on me. Lots of money. Good to know, Well, Good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit. Shit. 
I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy. Oh, you shitbag! Are you crazy? Please, please, don't do anything. Ah, see, you can act. Don't listen to all those movie critics. Are those crazy old bitch with you? Just me and you, honey bun. Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless. Those fucked up palmer games, the things that woman maybe do to her feet. Ah, you lucky boy. Older women are to be cherished, like a fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Drugs? What about art? I, I got shitloads of art. I know you wouldn't want that. Fuck! You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up, I'm all good. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it. They're not paying me anything. Then why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. I won't tell a soul, I promise. We both know you'll go straight to the police. I won't. I fucking swear it. I could give you ten thousand dollars right now. What is that smell? What do you expect? I'm fucking terrified. Diaper Denapoli, they should call you. Up. It's time for your final scene. You bastard! Where's your wife? You owe me. Officers, here he is. This man is insane. He destroyed my house. Whoa, hey. No, wait a minute. You asked me. He's he's ruined my life. He's he's a, he's a stalker. He's he's an epsilonist. Yeah, get him. Dumb move, Josh. Take some time out of your day to pleasure a man's wife, burn down a house. I don't know. Some people. You fucking asshole!
Hey. What? But. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things. And then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except. I... Mom said she was at Bean Machine. Ah, you hurt me. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Oh, okay. Here they are. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less... Lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy, please. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, man. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's like getting another tattoo. No, oh, God, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Now, I mean with me and your mom. Here's a tattoo shop. I'll be having that. Come on, you are sick, man. You make a terrible example of a person. Please! I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. You're not gonna get me a prince! Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here? You fucking psycho! Ah! You made me a pouty fucking hipster! Ah! Ugh. Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my. Are, are we gonna match? Ah. Now hold it. Mm. Ah. Uh, look, are you gonna tell me what you're drawing, or, or is it a surprise? Ah. How about I throw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah, there we go. Oh, nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Oh, gee, That's fuck this. Uh, when I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but... Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Careful! Dude. Come on! Are you gonna take this seriously? Bad dad!
Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me? Are you gonna take us home then? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lines? Oh, oh my finally. god! For what? Today, of course. Holy There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking. Fucking deal with this. I don't care what you say. Shut your mouth. Shut it. Shut. Just keep it shut. You are just perfect, crazy cakes. Hold me! I don't know what it is, but talent can just... <laughs> 